What's up everybody? Today we're trying something different. We're not going into any kitchens today. We're heading into the water. We're going to see what kind of stuff we can get. If we can get some good fish. Hopefully we'll see some snap out there. Anything that we see that we're going able to shoot legally. No parrot fish, no nothing like that. We'll shoot them, bring them up to the beach and enjoy a nice fresh fish cookout. I'm going to head into the water, start some spear fishing, see if we can get some lobster, see if we can get some good fish, maybe some wrenchman, some like them call that squirrel fish. Down here we call them wrenchman, make good bone finger. Little prickly, scales are thick, but very nice eating fish. We're not going after anything small, any parrot fish or anything like that. So it has to be good size and it has to be legal. We're all about keeping the reefs, keeping the reefs for the next generation. Spear fishing Montego Bay, see what we can catch and cook. Man over the rock them. Up. Bad light, not stop play, but the rain. Run, come out of the water. Bad weather, I stop play right now. I run back to the rocks, get my shoes and thing, get a one nickel lobster. So, we we'll see how that work. We'll cook him up right now if the weather allows us to deal with it. Back to the van. Let me have a wash off, I wash off in the rain and see if we can cook up the lobster but rain now ease up no cooking can go on so we we'll just have to hold off and see if the rain going ease up um would i love to stay out there that longer never really go get to go too far saw so the lobster out there was the only thing that we could really get good size lobster though no complaints 
any day you get something from the sea is a good day that's why them says fishing not catching so we we'll see if we can cook it up if the rain give you a little ease up then fire time out of the water Took a shower, lining up the grill. Sunfly and I'm out with us. But it's part of the life. Soon as we light the fire, every, all of that gone. Never get too much. Weather was messed up. Got that one lobster. I had to come back and cook him again now. So uh, we were going to fry up the lobster or put him on the grill or something, but it's getting late. We're hungry. We might as well just throw him on the fire and I'm shell. Just roast him live like that. Nothing sweeter than that. Wash him off in the water. Mosquito bite out my blood fire. Wash him off in the water. And, yo, a sunfly that brother, that's not even mosquito. You know, so I'm gonna light the fire. Hold on. I don't usually use so much cursing now, but mosquito out here, we need a big fire. Put some green bush on this and light this up. Wash him off a bit. See what I touch him back. No. I want to make sure I cut him in half. I just put him on the fire. If you like, just put him on the fire. I'm going to put on a long sleeve. Must get them now. Drop. Sunfly like a bow in our ass. Burn out our mosquito, all iniquity. We we're just waiting on the fire to build up. Once the fire build up, roasting. See them fresh thing. Uh, sometimes I carry my salt and them things now, I'm seasoning them, but sometimes you don't need any of that when it's so fresh straight out of the sea I might just chop it or poke some hole put some sea water in there make that go on roast it in the shell salt infused right there no need to add salt or anything everything natural straight from the sea to right in the pot fire take long for blaze we're hungry fresh out of the sea I just find how I go and cook this rotted lobster. We just stumble across the greatest thing in Jamaica, pimento tree. I put some pimento leaf on it. I make that smoke into it so that smoke will go into the meat and you get a little pimento flavor in the lobster, not a jerk lobster, nothing like that. Seaside with the easy thing where I cook up. Just I'm going to add some of them pimento leaves here. Add some pimento leaves to it, enhance the flavour, the beautiful flavour of pimento, you know, that's Jamaica's golden nugget. And alcohol. Bush. With some green. All of this one, you see all this bark that's under the tree. All of them something like them bark thing and people always have that shit. Whole heap of flavor and that thing, whole heap of pimento. 
If I crush the leaves right now, all you're going to smell is rotten mint, like the berry itself. So, I'll put this and use this for smoke. It's also going to provide a layer to protect the lobster from the, from the heat. So instead of putting it on direct fire, I'm going to use the pimento leaves and put that on top of the fire. Almost like how you sometimes you see us, we even did it already on this. Actually, no, we did it with Mark, where you put the hog on the piment so, so that that gives it the flavor. Somewhat similar, so I think I'm going to bust it up. I don't think we're going to do the whole, the whole entire um, lobster. So, we we'll see how the fire stay. I need to catch a little more, but I just put in a little bit of the pimento sticks. Make that go and catch as well. Some heat has come off now, but I and mean, then not too bad for a one lobster now, but go on. I think I went put it on the light, I go down and pass on you now raw. So the bark and thing in there. So I'm not gonna know it's Yes, because them sticky as a farm my grill. It can burn out and burn out. Not a lobster upon it. See there? Enough. Can do that. Then bring the leaf them out now. And just put the leaf them across. Leaf them set like that. The heat ready now, that man will talk look a bit till now when I'm ready. I'm gonna put the lobster right on top. So open in my life. Mm. Just become a chop this off, don't mean I won't waste it. There's meat in every part of this lobster. I'm gonna waste lobster, man. That's as I tell you before. Don't bird, I come try it if my dinner. That ain't happening today. Clean him out. Look how beautiful that meat is. Fresh and ready for the grill. Beautiful. Shot a licking at the fire, man. So, yeah, and shot start bus. I just put him like that. See him so right, that's all. Put him on the grill like that. Like, I forgot for the light, but the light really, I get bad now. First time shooting on a GoPro, man. Tell me what y'all think of the shots. Yeah, so I sort out the sub grill properly. No, 
know, so you want some from winning a bird that's trying to, it's a bird trying to steal my lobster from winning. That's a pimento cracking up. I can start to smell that lobster a little bit now, but that smell of that pimento, the smell of the pimento is amazing. Oh, if that smoke gets into that lobster like we intend it to, that flavor is going to be intense. smoke down on it so that smoke stays in there let's put some of that more leaves in there so the smoke doesn't escape too much it gets back into the meat So, it's just more leaves to make sure that smoke gets into that meat. So it's pimento, salt water, a grit, pop pop. So they said I'm gonna have a whole heap of meat in there. Lots of meat in there. Let's put that right on the top of my Yeah man, just about time. See the perfection. Not to be. That lobster just came off. And told you we've been hungry. Right here on the rocks. First piece, you can't see the steam coming off of it. Look at that. Hot to the man. Piece of the leaf on it. You can't be fresh. You can't be fresh. No salt needed. From the sea. That hint of pimento, the pimento leaves is coming out in it. The smoke from the pimento leaves infused the meat and it it just it works. It's it's probably I forgot the menu. It works. That's damn good. Fresh lobster meat from the sea, right here on the seaside. What more can you want than that? I went finish this up. I can't even show you anymore. We're hungry. The lobster done though. One whole thing, but well, you know how it is. You take from the sea, you share with the community. Me and Thomas are going to eat this off. Straight out of the fire. Straight from the sea, into the fire. Delish. <laughs> Big up Pineapple Beach. We out.